Jessica Lauren. Writing these vows was a real challenge for me. Not because it was hard to find things to say, but because there was so much to say that was in my heart. You are my partner, my love, my soulmate, and I'm so grateful that I found you. There is nothing we cannot face if we are united. And I love you so much, I can't wait to grow old and right with you. It is the most amazing, most powerful feeling in the entire world. Beautiful friends and family, hello and welcome. You have all come from all across the country to celebrate the marriage of Jessica Moore and Nathan Burke. Stan and Lori Moore, we all wish you congratulations on giving your incredible, beautiful daughter to a handsome, funny, and loving man, Marguerite Burke. We wish you congratulations on giving your son to a beautiful, intelligent, charming young lady. Jessica has become very, very special to me, obviously, since I was born. But more re even recently, as soon as, you know, she moved out here, which has been like, what, nine years? She has been so supportive, so I just want to bless her for what she's doing. I want to bless this marriage. I just want to say, I want to say a blessing over Jessica and Nate, and I'm so glad to have uh, such a great new son. He's, you know, I've known him for several years now, and he's always been just the kind of guy you can just talk to, and he's a real person. Hi, Hi. first, I'd like to welcome Jessica to our family. Jessica, the most happiness in the world. May you always walk in sunshine. May you never want for more. May you, the Irish angels rest their wings right beside your door. May, you, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. God bless you. We met Jesse the summer before we got married. One night, we went to the casting office and our waiter was Jess. She was exactly as you'd imagine. She was stunning, beautiful, and basically looked like she walked out of a Vogue magazine. Allie and I turned to each other, we're not making this up, and said, we cannot be friends with her. Our grand plan was to deliberately not be friends with Jess. The plan failed. So as you can see, our plan to not become friends with Jess backfired because instead of not being friends with her, she kind of became our best friend. You get to know a lot about a person over 12 years. I learned that Nate was a talented man. He's a hard worker, he's honest, loyal friend. Nate puts his mind any task and he usually exceeds his own expectations from high school running to bartending and all the myriad of challenges in between. Once Nate sets his mind to something, he quickly excelled. A long time ago, a friend described, asked me to describe Nate, and I, I called him a can of corn. And uh, that's an old New England expression about someone being a good guy. It describes that what's on the label is what's on the inside as well. So this can of corn, who's always marched to the beat of his own drum, fate would have it that there was a lovely, intelligent, beautiful, 
soul living in Tennessee that really appreciated Nate's original beats. <laughs> Enter Jessica Moore. Jessica is a driven, bold, independent, entrepreneurial, now college educated world leader. I can't even begin to sum up how much I love you. You're my best friend, you're my biggest supporter, you're my lover. I love you without any conditions. I vow that I will be by your side through all the crazy curveballs life will throw at us. I vow to change and evolve with you. I vow to be the man you've married and to be the man that continues to evolve to the man I always wanted to be. I vow to be with you as you evolve into the woman that you want to be. I give you my hand, I give you my heart, I give you my love. Now, always and forever. I promise. Hello, my love. I think you know by now that I'm probably the most indecisive person ever. But one thing that I always knew I would have no doubts about was saying yes to you. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I will respect you, encourage you, cherish you through all the highs and lows life sends our way. By the power vested in me, by the great state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Peace, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Lord and the birth, I now present to you husband and wife, Nathan and Jessica. Yeah. 
leads to a great start. Today, in some way, is the beginning. In other ways, it's the continuation of a story that began some eight plus years ago in a bar in Los Angeles. This is the story of Nate and Jessica. A story of perseverance, of character, overcoming obstacles, achieving goals while growing together over time. Forever a part of her within him, a part of him within her. Look at the toast to this lovely bride in this pretty nice looking room. It's a lovely couple. And here we go, everybody. Congratulations, you two, and thank you for sharing your story with all of us. Cheers. Enjoy all your journey! The future belongs to hearts, even more than it does to minds. Love, that is the only thing that can occupy and fill eternity. Love participates of the soul itself. It is of the same nature. Like it, it is the divine spark. Like it, it is incorruptible, indivisible, and perishable. What a grand thing it is to be loved. What a far grander thing it is to love.